But anyway, you know, guys, I've been going vegan. I'm vegan this whole week. Vegan. Soft clap. Not 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 enthusiastic. I'm clapping. Clap. I can't applaud. Soft. That. So the guys thought it would be fun to put together a vegan taste test for me. They're vegan. Do you want to acknowledge that you did this once before and then made like a big deal about it on the show and then like a week later you stopped being vegan? Sure. Acknowledged. <laughs> no, why did I go vegan? The last time I went vegan, I was, I'll be honest, I didn't do it very good. Like I was just, I was like, you can eat whatever you want when you're vegan. And I was just like charging like cereal and almond milk, like huge bowls of cereal <laughs> yeah, every night. And I was just like going, I was going crazy because I was like, I was vegan. What's wrong? And um, I didn't lose any weight. But my problem is, like, I'm just so sick of this food battle, like, this daily defeat that I feel. I'm just, I'm so sick of just hating my body and how I look. And um, thank you, yes. And so I said, you know what? I don't want to die of heart disease. I don't want to die from being obese and all the health problems. And, and But most of all, it's like every day I just feel defeated. Like, damn, why can't I lose weight? So I thought, you know what, man? I'm just, I'm going to go vegan. And I feel like it's going to last this time. Also, I love animals. Let's be honest. I don't like the cruelty that happens to animals. I, I don't like, like when I see factories of, of pigs and cows and stuff. And these are beautiful creatures that I love. And so... I love it. It's it's it is there's always been a sense of uh, hypocrisy within myself where I'm like, damn, I absolutely hate how animals are farmed, but I'm not having the willpower to do anything about it. So, like, I like the whole vegan thing is great. It's great for everything. It's great for your health. It's great for the earth. It's great for the animals. Hey, what is up guys? So as you just saw, Ethan Klein or H3H3 is now considering going vegan. And to be clear, he isn't just going plant-based for health reasons. At first I thought this and then, you know, he kept talking and then he eventually went into animal rights and how he thinks that it's pretty morally hypocritical for him to, you know, love animals like cows, pigs, and chickens while also paying for them to be exploited and murdered. For the people that are sub to me, you've probably seen me do other videos trying to reach out to Ethan and try to get him to go vegan because much of the things he said in the past really did indicate, you know, that he has a good understanding of vegan ethics and why a lot of the arguments that people make toward not being vegan don't really apply. The latest example I can think of where Ethan does this is when he had William Knight on his podcast, who is a very famous TikToker, who was basically saying that, you know, eating happy cows and eating cows that are raised on local and, you know, like free range farms can raise your vibration. And then Ethan responded to this asking, you know, if you eat a happy person, will that also raise your vibration? So what, what should we avoid eating that's fucking up our vibrations? The, um, when it comes to animal products, there's a huge debate on whether animal products are good for you. I am a, I stand with know where the animal is coming from, know how the energy of the animal is. If it's in a factory farm and it's depressed, it's a whole life in a cage, and you're eating that energy, oh. you're gonna get that same energy. So, so if you do choose to eat more products, get grass fed, get organic, get fresh meat. Right. In other countries, they eat their meat fresh. Ours is frozen and processed. Got it. So it's all about the energies. So theoretically, if I eat like a happy person, is that good energy? Another good example of this is when his producer, Dan, who refuses to eat pigs and who was also vegetarian, was saying that the reason we shouldn't eat pigs is because of their higher intelligence. And then I think they started talking about like chickens and whether or not it's okay to eat chickens. And then Dan, his producer, ended up kind of implying that he ascribes moral value based on level of intelligence. And then Ethan was like, oh, is it okay if I just eat a really dumb human then? It's pigs. You shouldn't eat pigs, people. It's, they're, 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 they're self-aware. Like, they're, it's, it's f***ed up. They yeah, and I've seen shit. some of those, those pig farms are just absolutely yeah, horrendous. It's, disgusting. it's just, it's like an inhuman. Yeah. It's inhuman. It, it's literally inhuman. You think cow eating is less severe than pork eating? I mean, it's hard to rate these things because, I mean, how do we really know what's going on in the minds of these creatures? I, I don't think. I don't think you should eat cows either, but the the pig one it, it just it, it just always really gets me on an extra level. Again, just because of the the level of their uh, 
Yeah, I mean, like we we so, you know people have their interactions and their uh, their um, love for their dogs. And so Dan, are you saying if I meet a really dumb human, I can eat him? So these things really show me that Ethan has at least logically made the connection when it comes to veganism, and you can also tell that he emotionally as well has made the connection. And I just want to make sure that he really does veganism correctly this time. As you saw in the clip I played at the beginning of this video, he was doing it in a way that you know, wasn't too healthy. And aside from animal rights, I really do like Ethan. And I know that one of his goals in going vegan is to lose weight. Now to be clear, you know, the moral philosophy of veganism has nothing to do with really health. And oftentimes it gets conflated with health when it really just has to do with animal rights. But yeah, I mean, weight loss is a lot easier on a vegan diet or a plant-based diet. Generally speaking, when you think about the fact that plant foods on average are very low in caloric density, Obviously, you could still eat things like vegan pizza and Oreos and potato chips and have a problem losing weight. I mean, Ethan basically implied that he was having a shit ton of almond milk and cereal and just really bad things and he didn't lose any weight. So there's really two layers as to why I really want to help Ethan when it comes to, you know, committing to a vegan lifestyle, but in a sustainable and healthy way. The first reason is obviously because he has a huge following and him going vegan would be a big victory with respect to animals he can have a really big and you know nice influence on people who are on the fence about going vegan and if they see that he's doing it and he's you know achieving optimal health and he's also you know eating really good tasting vegan foods on his podcast that gets millions of views people will see that you can be healthy on a vegan diet and also enjoy foods and him influencing so many people to go vegan would in turn save so many animals the other reason is because i can really empathize with ethan when it comes to his body image and how he hates his body and how he doesn't want to be, you know, fat anymore, even though I don't even think he's that fat, but you know, he's very hard on himself about his weight. And I want to make sure that he, you know, pursues a vegan lifestyle in a way which maximizes weight loss for him. It's very easy to not lose weight on a vegan diet if all you're eating is terrible things. And the podcast episode that he actually released yesterday had a vegan junk food segment where they were eating some really good vegan food from LA, some of which I've had like Doomies, super good stuff. But those things aren't really going to allow him to lose weight in the long run. I mean, these things are so calorically dense. They're fried and they're very high in oil. So I commented on the video letting Ethan know that I'm a, you know, vegan personal trainer based in LA, which is where he lives. And I'm also an animal rights activist and I would love to just help him just overall commit to a vegan lifestyle that is sustainable. Like I have no clue if he is aware of the fact that he should be taking a B12 supplement. And also in the same podcast yesterday, he implied that he thinks that french fries aren't vegan. French fries, I, vegan, doesn't matter. French, I've eaten french fries, french fries aren't vegan. Okay. The french fries are it's not vegan. Which traditionally they are. I mean, they're not vegan at say McDonald's where they, you know, fry the fries in beef oil. But generally speaking, Fries are vegan. They're vegan at Wendy's, vegan at Burger King, and many other places, because really in the end, French fries are just potatoes saturated in oil, salt, and other plant seasonings. So I'm just thinking that maybe he even has the idea that many foods that are junk food that are vegan aren't vegan, when they in fact are, and Ethan is huge on food. And if he's huge on food and thinks that French fries aren't vegan, I mean, he might think that other things that are really tasty aren't vegan, that are. His followers who, you know, really do have Ethan's best interest in mind very much resonated with my comment and really wants him to find somebody who can actually help him long-term sustain this lifestyle. And, you know, I'm sure that many of his fans who aren't vegan really just would want me to help him from a weight loss perspective and to make him happier. But I mean, if I could help him do that, it's more likely that he'll stick to the vegan lifestyle as well because he'll attribute it to weight loss, which is one of his goals. And that would mean that he would just stay vegan longer, hopefully, you know, forever. And this could in turn help influence his audience long term to go vegan. I'd also love to help Ethan get better at his uh, argumentation for animal rights, because if he's going to do this long term, he's probably going to have some people, you know, bash on him for being vegan. And Ethan might even at some point become a little more preachy about the vegan message, which may lead to debates. And it'd be really cool to have someone with as many followers as Ethan be extremely, you know, adept when it comes to debating animal rights and making the vegan message seem as logical as possible. So Ethan, I don't know if you're watching this. I don't know if you've seen even any of my videos on you, probably haven't. But if you're watching this, just know that I, you know, live in LA and I would love to help you commit to a vegan lifestyle in a way that is much more sustainable than the average person who commits to it 
who doesn't do much research in order to remain healthy. All right, guys, that is the end of the video. Please comment, like, and share, and do whatever you can to get Ethan to possibly see this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Dude, even vegans don't get your weird, stupid, wannabe sense of irony here. W who is your audience? Nobody gets these dumb jokes. Dude, even vegans don't get your weird, stupid,